I've been having conversations with a lot of beginners lately, people that want to launch their YouTube channel, start making videos, maybe create their first online course or start their business. Whatever it may be, they're a beginner at, they're just getting started. And I've noticed a theme with these people that I've talked to, and it's that they're doing it wrong. They're, they're focused on the wrong things. So in this video, I'm gonna explain a little bit about what I mean. There's really only one metric that matters when you're getting started, when you're just a beginner. Action, movement, going, doing, creating, whatever it is that you're thinking about, the only thing that matters is whether or not you did it. Let's say you're making videos. Some things that you might think really matter but don't are, should I use a phone or my DSLR camera? Should I film in 1080p or 4K? Should I start my YouTube channel first or make my website first? The answer to these questions is yes. You should make videos, put them out there, get started and just go. It kind of doesn't matter what you use, where you post them, what's in the video. When you're just getting started, the only thing that matters is that you make it. It's like when you get started working out at the gym. It kind of doesn't matter what you do when you're there, when you're just getting started. What matters is that you show up to the gym, that you do something, anything, don't hurt yourself, and then keep coming back. Building the habit, building the repetition, that's what really matters and you'll get better over time. Even this video right now is an example of this. I really need to shave. That's why I'm wearing a hat. I didn't shave my head, but I really needed to make a video to stay on my schedule of every Wednesday of 2020, putting out a YouTube video. So what did I do? I didn't shave, I wrote a script, and I'm filming this right now. Action, go, do. It'll get better. There'll be videos where I've shaved and videos where I haven't. It's fine. Eventually, yes, you'll reach a point where those earlier questions do matter. Does matter what kind of quality you're getting from your videos or where you post them or the title and thumbnails and stuff like that. Eventually, those things will make an impact on how many people see your videos, whether they resonate with them, whether they enjoy watching them. But you're probably not there yet. Or if you are, you already know that you're further along, you've been doing it for a while, and you've built that habit of showing up. It doesn't matter which direction you try to go in if you're not moving. My friend, Sean McCabe, who's about to be on the podcast, has this quote, you can't steer a parked car. It's basically Newton's first law. An object at rest stays at rest. An object in motion stays in motion until something basically acts upon it to influence that. If you are in motion, if you're doing stuff, if you're trying things, if you're creating, if you're finishing, if you're publishing, you will learn, you will develop new skills and you'll get better over time. If you're stuck in analysis paralysis and you're not going anywhere, nothing will happen. Your videos aren't gonna get better. You are not going to improve if you're not going from start to finish through the process of something. And I know I've been there as a beginner and I still do this now. When you're in the middle of something, every decision seems so huge, so important but it's like you're playing this really advanced version of chess or go when you should be playing checkers and just moving forward one space at a time. Research quickly, make a decision and move on. When you're just starting, you may be stalled out because you're trying to reach a certain level of quality or perfectionism or professionalism in whatever it is you're trying to create. But unfortunately, those things typically only come through time, practice and doing it a bunch of times. Just look back at some of the earliest videos of some of the biggest YouTubers out there. They were probably poorly filmed on a webcam, edited barely at all. And if you watch them side by side with the video they just came out with most recently, there's gonna be a world of difference because there is most likely years and years and hundreds of videos that they've worked up to where they're at now. They got better with repetition, just like you will. And your most limited resource isn't money or knowledge or information, it's time. So the more time you spend agonizing over what software you should use or the perfect piece of gear to make whatever it is you're creating, the more time you waste. So choose something and go. Another thing I see people stall out on when it comes to what they're doing on the internet is a bunch of people that follow them now, maybe initially followed them for something that they did in the years past but now they wanna talk about something else or they're not interested in that thing anymore. So instead of just making that new content, posting the pictures about the new thing they're interested in, they freeze. They, they just can't make anything because the people that follow them aren't interested in that other thing. If that's you and you're worried about what people might think or that you've grown this audience that cares about you because of the one thing you talked about but you're not interested in that anymore, 
change it up, make what you want to make. Let your audience filter itself out. You don't have to worry about that. People probably initially followed you because they were interested in you, not necessarily just the things you talked about. And if they're not interested in the new direction you're headed with your content or what you make, so be it. Let them leave, there's the door. I'd rather have less people following me that care about what I make than millions of people that don't. And if there are already people talking about or sharing what you're interested in online, don't take that as a sign to not do it, not post content, to not create what it is that you really want to make. Take it as a sign of, hey, they're getting all these views. That means there are people interested in what I have to say about this topic. Seeing competition in whatever it is you do shouldn't keep you from moving forward. Because when you're really interested in something, you're really interested in fly fishing or jet skiing or other things that take place on the water, you follow more than one person or outlet that talks about those things. You follow five or 10 or all of them. All this to say, the fact that you're even thinking of starting means you're further along than most people that are just going to passively consume things that are made. But stop overthinking things. Take it a step further and go make the thing you've been wanting to make for a long time now. Head into a direction and you can always fine tune or course correct later. If you're just starting out with something, focus on building the habit of showing up. Creating, making, finishing it, publishing it, and repeat. And when you repeat, when you do it again, just get a little bit better. My buddy James Clear has this 1% better every day thing that he talks about where if you get 1% better every day for a year, you'll be 37 times better. And if you get 1% worse each day for a year, you'll slowly approach zero and you'll be at 0 0.03. So get out there, go do that thing you've been putting off forever, get started and slowly, a little bit each day, get better. You got this.